So Carly, I know you're quite excited about this one today. Can you tell us a little bit about where we're standing right now? Yeah, absolutely. We are standing in front of Mariang. Um, this place in general is the park's radio observatory. And behind us is the 64 metre telescope Mariang. Now this telescope, it's huge. I have good reason to be excited. Not only is it this huge telescope, uh, it's, it's actually the largest single dish radio telescope in the Southern Hemisphere. And this makes it really special, right? This is one of the key instruments uh, that is used for us to understand our galaxy, the universe, and all the different objects out there. So actually, this telescope is used uh, quite a lot for uh, a program called the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence intelligence, otherwise known as SETI. It's also really useful for observing things in the southern sky, like the large and small Magellanic clouds. Yeah, so uh, what are some of the things that have been discovered using this telescope and, and radio astronomy in general then? Ah, sure. So things like quasars, pulsars, you know, studying that Magellanic system, trying to understand how our galaxy is actually stripping these dwarf galaxies of all of its, all of its gas, all of its neutral hydrogen, and gobbling it up for our own galaxy, basically, and creating stars from that. So this instrument was actually integral in, in understanding those different processes. And actually, the Marianne Parkes telescope is probably most known uh, for another name uh, and that name is the dish <laughs> of course now the reason why it's known as the dish is because a movie came out uh, called the dish and it was really highlighting uh, Marian's contribution to the Apollo 11 moon landing back in 1969 when the first humans ever touched the moon the surface of the moon now, what this telescope did, and actually another telescope here in Australia down in Canberra, they were the first uh, instruments to actually observe that moon landing. And they were responsible for broadcasting that moon landing to 600 million people across the world at that time. Because of our southern location, we had the perfect viewing to receive that broadcast here at, at Mariang. And so this has had a, a huge contribution, not only to, uh, you know, us as humans and that huge endeavor of going into, into space and going to the moon, uh, but it's also really contributed hugely to Australian astronomy uh, in general, so much so that it was put on the National Heritage List uh, in 2020 to uh, protect this place and to continue to celebrate Australian contribution to astronomy. So Carly, why are you so excited to be here? So I've, we can obviously see that this is quite impressive, but what's so special about this place? Yeah, well, other than the fact that I'm a big nerd and radio astronomer. Uh, this is actually a really fun telescope, or really fun instrument. So when you observe with Mariang, uh, it's actually really cool. When something goes wrong, say if the wind is too strong, or there's a there's something, there's a spider in the in the road of the signal, or you know if there's a disaster in any way. Uh, the telescope actually kind of sings to you. It sings native bird uh, calls. Uh, so it's, it's very Australian. Uh, sometimes, you know, if you, if you hear the magpie, that's when you know you're in trouble. Um, and so it kind of <laughs> creates this really funny moment where the birds are um, kind of bringing you quite bad news. <laughs> uh, but I think the, uh, the, the nice little bird touch makes it a little bit more easy to take on that bad news. Another really cool thing about this telescope is you can actually ride it just like, you know, a ride you would go on at the show or something like that. Uh, so basically what happens, the dish comes all the way down and you can just climb on up. Uh, and then as the dish kind of starts to go a bit more vertical, you just walk down slowly into, into the dish and you can have fun in there, play cricket in there if you like, do whatever you want. Sounds good. Uh, let's go and have a go. All right, let's go.